Hi, welcome to HPE Discover More in Munich. And I'm here with James Henry. You're responsible for the go-to-market for hybrid clouds, which is called RingLake at HPE. That's correct. And if we look at the market over here, everybody is talking about the trends, everything as a service. Yeah. Can you explain what trends do you see over here, but also in the market? Well, I mean, as a service itself, uh, it's it's very, very fast growing. Inside HP, it's our biggest business now, one of our biggest businesses, under GreenLake, which is our brand for as a service. Um, but even in your own personal lives, everything we're adopting, the amount of as a service technologies, Spotify, Netflix, a whole host of uh, on-demand services. So uh, I talk to a lot of uh, customers as well, a lot of uh, IT managers, and even when they're acquiring talent into companies, new, new guys coming in, um, in from university, they're expecting things available on demand and as a service. So as a service is everywhere, right? And within HPE, GreenLake is our as a service brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the biggest problems a lot of our customers are facing right now is in the area of hybrid cloud, mm -hmm. okay? So hybrid cloud has numerous benefits to customers, mm -hmm. but it also can be quite complex. Right. So what we've done now is make hybrid cloud available as a service to our customers under the GreenLake banner. And for cloud as a service, I think it's quite obvious. We're yeah. used to it. The bar is quite high yes. from the expectations and the customer experience. Correct. But if we look to the on-premise part, yeah. it's quite a challenge because you have so many different data si silos. Yeah. Um, you have the legal part. You have the uh, part for data quality. You have the part for the governance. Yeah. How can you handle this? So you're quite right, in terms of hybrid itself, by its very nature, is complex. Right. Right? You've got things everywhere, and that's one of the biggest problems. While the benefits are enormous, the challenges are also tough. Yeah. So it's exactly why we built the hybrid cloud, uh, GreenLink hybrid cloud offering, because what we want to do is allow our customers, depending on their roles in the customer environment, we want to allow them to have that visibility, so that they understand what data is sitting where, what applications are sitting where in which cloud, um, which users are using the services, mm -hmm. how much those services are costing you, um, can you be sure that the services that are running up on the public cloud, that they're compliant and that you're not going to get in trouble with auditors for not having the proper business rules or process rules in place, um, or technical rules to be, make sure that you're, you're compliant. So, so bringing that all together under one umbrella, um, being able to, um, have that visibility across your public and private environments as one, and one dashboard is, is really, really key, we think. And which type of roles touches it? Because you're talking about development, you're talking about cost, yeah. you're talking about legal, um, compliance. So yeah. what type of roles are involved? So what we're trying to do is address every role within the company, right? Um, for, for the CFO, they want to make sure that costs are under control, that they don't get hit with huge costs at the end of the month that they weren't expecting. Mm -hmm. So having that visibility in terms of, first of all, how much you're spending, mm -hmm. um, uh, and then all the way back to the line of business, all the way back to the application or the, the service that the business is, is monetizing, that they can link the business outcome to the actual spend yeah. that, they're, that they're doing, right? So we give them that view of uh, their spend. For the uh, CIO, they might be really worried about, or the compliance officer in terms of those services that are running in the public cloud, um, are they secure, yeah. are they compliant, yeah. are they adhering to the right standards, so we give them that view. For the IT operations manager, it's about, well, first of all, getting control again of all services, because unfortunately, over the last number of years, as the need for business to go faster and mm -hmm. quicker and build new services, what we've seen is that we've seen ad hoc adoption of public cloud services. And that in itself has been a challenge, right? So while we don't uh, see that the IT operations teams, we don't want them to get in the way of business or block people using public cloud services, but we do want to help them get control of those public cloud services. So what we do with Green and Hybrid Cloud, again, is allow them to get all of their hybrid cloud services under control in one location so they can see all of the things that are out there running. And it looks like a very simple step, but I think it's a big step in the industry, what HP is taking now and driving the industry in this direction. It is, I think, you know what we've seen again is, um, if you stood back like a few years back and looked across HPE, big company, we have technologies everywhere throughout the company yeah. around cloud. And what we've done is we've brought them all together under one offering called GreenLake Hybrid Cloud. 
and that's really what we've been trying to do because the challenges are, are quite enormous. We've done pretty much everything we have within that portfolio, by the way. It's not necessarily all new. Mm -hmm. We've done it before. What's new is we've brought it together now and with GreenLex Central, we are now positioning that with our customers to make it easy for them to access in a consistent way their cloud services and our GreenLake hybrid cloud offering through that simple, easy to access portal in GreenLake Central. James, thanks a lot for sharing your insights. No problem. And thank you for watching here from HPE Discover More in Munich. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get notifications of my new video.